Hi, my name is Bill, and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit more about shaft bands. What I'm going to talk about specifically is how to tell or how to have an idea if the shaft band you just purchased is authentic or if it is fake. So I've kind of got three rules of thumb that I use. Uh, the first one is kind of what I call the circumstantial evidence, which is if you see somebody on eBay that's selling, let's say, a dozen of the same shaft band, and of course everybody's going to say it's authentic, uh, however, they're not selling any other Scotty Cameron items, any other custom shop items, that type of thing, because we all know the custom shop is where you get uh, your shaft bands at. Uh, that kind of is a clue. It doesn't, I'm not saying that, that everyone that does that is necessarily selling counterfeits, but it's kind of a good indicator, kind of makes you think, scratch your head a little bit and say, I wonder, you know, if these are for real. Now, uh, again, a lot of auctions, everybody's auction says my product is 100% authentic. Nobody really offers to, to prove that. Well, the one way that that can really be proved is uh, through the custom shop packing slip. Now, every time you send your fire into the custom shop, you have to print out a packing slip to go along with it that reminds the custom shop what order it is, what you're having done to your putter, that type of thing. You can see I've got one here from an order I sent in a little while back, order number 154118. You can see here it shows the putter model that I sent in. It shows the various options that I have purchased, including the, the shaft band. So kind of that's number two. If somebody says, well, you know, I can't give you any proof that it's real, not completely true. Uh, they can send you their custom shop packing slip. You can print as many copies of that as you want from Scotty's site once you send your putter in. So, uh, you know, number one is kind of circumstantial evidence. Number two is kind of the tangible proof of the packing slip. And then the third way, I really thought about this and, and tried to come up with a way. You know, whenever you, you purchase something that is a fake shaft bang, you look at it next to a real one. If you're not sure which is which, sometimes it may be difficult and it's really just kind of speculation a little bit as to which one is real. So I said, well, how can you really measure that? And then I thought about material thickness. Uh, material thickness may not seem like a big deal, but it's something that I've noticed in the past that counterfeiters kind of miss on. They don't think about it. Unfortunately, this is probably going to clue them into that secret. But what you can do is get a, uh, a dial caliper, or digital caliper in this case, and uh, this will measure down to four decimal places uh, of an inch and what you can see this is basically the authentic shaft band that I have off my putter I've got the proof uh, that I sent my putter into the shop and I'm going to measure the thickness and you'll see there it is .0035 of an inch so that is also known in the uh, in the printing or converting business as uh, three and a half mils thickness so uh, kind of remember that .0035 now we will look at this uh, you know really pretty good job at a fake that I purchased off eBay uh, this week uh, a little bit ashamed to say I paid hundred dollars for the darn thing but right after this video I'm gonna send it back and get a refund because obviously it is fake um, so here is the thickness and you'll see a little bit thicker 0 .0040 or four mils thick hopefully the camera is is picking up that um, so anyway that's just kind of a, a way that, that I have um, come up with to you know, give some tangible evidence of whether or not your shaft band is uh, is indeed uh, real or if it is fake. Uh, now, the, the thickness of the shaft bands really kind of changes from model to model. So all of the, the custom shop shaft bands of the various colors, they are all a certain thickness. Uh, the foil um, shaft bands like the Circle T, the handcrafted, that type of thing, they're all this 0035 thickness, that sort of thing. So. Um, anyway, that's just kind of uh, a few things I wanted to share about telling a, a fake shaft band from a real one. If you have any questions, if you have a band you think might be fake, want a little more info from me, uh, I will be glad to help you out with that. Uh, you can contact me at eBay where my user ID is WHERD, that's W-H-E-A-R-D, or you can just send me an email directly from the YouTube site. Thanks a lot.